what is going on everybody silver scrounger here and today is sunday super bowl sunday at that and i went out and scored myself a small collection here now this is really cool i got a lot of good stuff uh and honestly i've already sold a few things which i'll cover that in a little bit some of them but let's see what we got here we ended up getting a whole lot of uh, AU, BU uh, Mercury Dimes here. And most of them are all in the 40s. Most of them are all in the 40s. And they're all real nice, great condition. Uh, yeah, all 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. I think that's pretty much all the dates. There's one 1918S, I want to say, or 1917S. But it's nothing too spe spectacular. Anyway. Then, I went and got a few Barber halves. Uh, all, well, 1899 is the oldest one I got. But, I did get a very low minted one. 1913S, only 604,000 of them minted, so that's pretty cool. Then, let's see, I'll cover this one here. 1950, Denver, Franklin Half, that's FBL for full bell lines. You cannot mistake the full bell lines on this puppy. See if I can get it zoomed in and show you guys. Look at that. Bow. Every line all the way across. That's beautiful. Then, let's see what else I got here. Only half dime that he had. And it's in, uh, it's in rough shape. But it was pretty decent little uh half time to get something uh affordable let's put it that way then we got a one large scent i could have got a few more of these but this was probably the better condition of all of them and i don't deal too much with large scents i just thought it would be interesting to get at least one so that's why i got this one but uh, these are the only slabs. And they're all more common date. If it'll ever focus on me. There we go. Not common date, but uh, more uh, recent dates. Like the 2021s. This is the uh, Tuskegee Airmen Quarter. But they're all proof 70 ultra or deep cameo so 2015 blue ridge parkway 2020 s marsh billings rockefeller and 2022 s maya angelou they're all silver proofs all decams uh pr 70s so that's pretty cool uh let's see here this actually goes with this pile, but I'm leaving it separated for a specific reason. I'll cover that later. This right here, though, is an entire uh, stack of Seated Liberty half dollars. They're all in real low grade, but for the price, I couldn't pass them up. These are probably going to end up at the coin show. And then... Uh, go from there some of the nicer walking liberties i got not so much that one but these three here look at this that thing is in beautiful condition 1940 then we got a couple of 1942s but they're both in about the same condition. Real nice. Got 
Got two of those. And then let's see what else. All right, so I got a couple of Barber Dimes. He had a bunch of them, but I went with just a couple of them because one, condition, and two, price. So this 1913 right here was nice. And then a 1907 right there. And uh, they're both uh, got full liberty on, on there. So yeah. Uh, let's see. This was a real nice one. 1918 Denver. It's in nice shape. It's not AU. It, I think it's... Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I looked it up. But I think it was a VF. But it was a good price for it. Then this one. The one barber quarter, I think, that I got. Yes. One barber quarter. And it's only because it is a key date. 1896-0. Oh. It's pretty worn out. Probably a, a G4, maybe. But uh, it's a real nice uh, key date. So that's the only reason why I picked that one up. Um, These two, there's nothing really too special about them other than being an earlier year. And I grabbed them for someone. A, a customer was asking for specific years and he just happened to have them. In that collection so that's why i got those then there's this right here it's a uh franklin mint god and country those are two rounds that are sterling silver it's really cool it comes with a little display stand and everything and see what it does right there but yeah it's really cool old and cool so, for the price, it was it was good. I, I got a really decent price. So, uh, that is just about it for that collection I bought. Oh, except for... Man, this thing is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I almost forgot. I really wish it was a 1900 or newer. So I could have it in my type coin set. Because that's how good a condition this thing is in. But, uh, yeah. So, 1897 Indian head scent in beautiful red condition, I think. So that's all I got from that collection. Now, the reason why I've got these separated and those separated. These I sold to somebody already. So, uh, nothing much to talk about on that one. Let me clear this up and then get back to you. All right, so what I was getting to with this is a bit of a story. I had these proof Kennedys, silver proof Kennedys, and these silver proof uh, Roosevelt dimes up for sale on uh, a Facebook group. I can't remember which one for sure, but I had someone reach out and and uh, bought all of these. So I was getting ready to close up the deal and everything. And she asked if I had anything that was in the 50 or from 1950 and older. And I was telling her, sure, I can look around, see what I can find. And she told me it doesn't matter if it's in good condition or not. I just I'm, look, I'm trying to help a young boy young man who had his entire collection stolen from him and it just really there's two things here one is it really sucks that it happened to a young man that his collection was stolen and it's also very good on this lady who is trying to help him rebuild his collection so i went and looked and i found what you see here a 22 piece dollar a nice uh nice looking war nickel a few mercury dimes 
1914 Barber Dime, and a 1940 Quarter. That was just what I could find that I had on hand at the moment. These came from the collection that I bought today. So that is why I wanted to get these to her also. And then I asked if it was just coins that he was collecting or if he was doing silver as in bullion or, uh, or anything like that. And she says, no, it can be silver as well. So I'm sure she was expecting me to show her all kinds of other stuff with price tags and everything. But instead, because my heart goes out to this young man who had his collection stolen, I thought, I'm going to give him a small little gift from me. But just basically saying, Asher, that's his name, sorry to hear of your collection being taken. I hope you enjoy rebuilding it twice as much. And then on the back, a gift for you, Asher. One quarter ounce silver. Your friend, Silver Scrounger. So I'm really hoping this helps to uh, get him going again. Uh, and we'll see. Hopefully uh, the, uh, the customer who is doing this for him uh, will continue to reach out to me because I'm giving her some really good deals on these. But I hope that she continues to reach out to me and let me know what it is that he is looking for or he needs replaced. So I would really love to be able to continue to help uh, rebuilding his collection. So that is what's going on with these. So other than that, I don't have much else. I am going to go ahead and get out of here, and I need to get to bed at work super early in the morning. So, this is Silver Scrounger saying, thanks for watching, and keep on stacking. We're collecting, Asher. Catch you on the next video.